everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, your guide to greener and cleaner beauty, and I am back today with a product review for the Bybee Bakuchio Booster. I have been using this little booster serum for 30 days. I've been using it for 30 days. Did. Skincare tests are now a little bit different because of that. I'm using them for a little bit longer periods of time. I feel like you get a more accurate reading. So if you want to get the full review on this serum, if you're out there going, what is Bakuch Bopacha? Why are people talking about it so much? Why would I spend so much money if I can get this for under $20? Well, I have some things I want to tell you about this serum. So stick around and let's get into it. Quick little aside here. I bought this product myself and no one's paying me to say any of the following. So you're getting an honest review per the huge. All right, okay, a quick rundown on this booster, the Bybee Beauty Bakuchil Booster. Say that 10 times fast. I've tried to say it once and I had an issue, so good luck. It is $17. Here's what it's about. In a nutshell, we call this a clean booster serum. You're probably asking, what's a booster serum? I did too. You can mix it with your moisturizer, your serum, your balm, pretty much anything you use on your face for a potent nighttime boost. It is a natural alternative to retinol. Bakuchio is. People say it different ways. I'm saying it that way because that's just what rolls off the tongue. Oh, there you go. And this alternative to retinol is much gentler on the skin, which is another reason why people really love it. It has skin softening properties of olive squalane, 1% bakuchio. If you're like, what is squalane? It's everywhere too. Really mostly from what I've read about hydration. So it helps hydration. It's not non-comedogenic, so it's not gonna mess up your pores if you have issues with acne, supposedly. And they say that this is good for all skin types. Alcohol free, vegan. Well, it actually says it on the bottle, which I love, by the way. 100% natural, certified vegan and cruelty-free. So these are the performance claims that I tested this booster oil serum daily against. It's supposed to improve texture, that's what they say, by reducing fine lines and signs of tiredness. Uh, that's not, sign me up, I'm in. It is also supposed to give you plumper skin as it stimulates collagen. Okay, things sound wonderful. These are wonderful things. But does it actually happen? I'm gonna tell you. It starts with the first question on the Style Shaker scorecard, and that is ingredients. This is gonna be fast. There are two ingredients, squalane and bakuchio. You did hear me mention that there is 1% bakuchio in here. It is a supplemental product, so again, it's meant to be used with something else. Personally, I was like, hmm, I wonder how much 1% is gonna do. The other product that I've used, which I'm kind of testing this against because it's the only other bakuchio product I've used, is the Herbivore Bakuchio Serum. So I have a big review on that if you wanna check it out. Definitely more expensive. And I did find out there's 4% bakuchio oil in that. And I did see a difference when I was using it. So I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe 1% gonna do it? We'll find out. Overall, the ingredients, there were two. I love a short list. This is one of the shortest and I'm happy about it. If you're trying to find this on the apps, I recommend like the EWG app or Think Dirty. Or you're looking on Skin Carissima, which is a wonderful resource that I always recommend since one of you actually recommended it to me. So thank you. Always learning from this community. They're not on any of those. So that's what's making me even more excited to post this review. It's, it's tough to find out there. Next question, how does this apply? So does it apply easily? Is it messy? Is it too thin? No, it actually did a fantastic job here. So formula is really just right in the middle, kind of that happy middle of the road in consistency. So it's not too thin, it's not too thick, which means it comes out of this dropper really easily and it doesn't just slide through your hand. You can glide it over the face. These are the little things that actually make a big difference for me. Anyway, it doesn't feel tacky. It doesn't feel heavy and soaks in pretty well. It doesn't go right, right in. I mean, I don't know many products that do that. It doesn't feel heavy on top of the skin. Look at a five out of five on the scorecard. So next up, how's texture? A lot of times these serums can be maybe a little more tacky. Again, like I mentioned, thicker. This was really, really lovely texture. It feels silky and hydrating when you put it on. It was probably one of my favorite things about this product was the texture. And I mix it with other things because it wasn't such a thin formula. It did mix well with like a thicker, denser night cream or maybe another oil. It worked really well with that. It kind of lended itself to playing well with other products. Give it a four out of five on the scorecard for texture. So is this a non-irritating formula? You know, there are two ingredients, both meant to be hydrating and gentle. I had a very weird experience with this product. When I do these 30 day tests, I remove other products that I've been using so I can get a pretty clear picture 
of what the new addition is so I don't have all those other variables that could throw off my skin. It doesn't have ingredients in there that should be irritating, yet I found myself moving from applying it to full face to applying only on the forehead, which is where I wanted to get rid of most of the fine lines that I have anyway. I was using it on my face. I don't know why, this is personal. What works for me or doesn't work for me might be fine for a lot of other people. Okay, that's a huge caveat here. It, my skin got really dry and it is the opposite of what these ingredients are supposed to do. So I actually was in a Credo beauty store and I mentioned that to somebody there and they looked at me kindly, but they looked at me like I had eight heads. They were like, what? This is supposed to be really moisturizing. I don't understand. Well, nobody really knows why, but it's a bit of a mystery to me still. I gave it a lower score because it did irritate my skin. This is the personal side of the scorecard. So take it with a grain of salt if you want to. I just wanted to be honest with you because I always am. And once I was using it on my forehead, it was a little bit better, but even then, like the surface of the skin was, it just felt dry. So I found myself using more masks, my resurfacing masks. I didn't use them every day, but I made sure I used it once a week, the one that I always use. So anyway, I gave it a two out of five on the scorecard. It just really, my skin didn't like it. And maybe it was the source of the oil. I don't know. I don't how is scent? It's basically non-existent. It smells like a little bit like olives, which I love an olive, so I gave it a four out of five on the scorecard. Keeping it conscious. So yeah, I'm waiting to hear back from the brand on their packaging. I know these droppers can be tricky, help with application, but they live on the planet forever and ever and ever, so I'd rather do something else that doesn't have net new plastic. I'm trying to find the information on their site. The origin of this brand is actually fascinating, so I'm gonna put a link to their site. It's really a cool Genesis story, you know? I don't know, I like that stuff. They do have something called the Susti Summit. They're interested in sustainability, so I figured I would have seen more copy on the product page. Whether or not this bottle is 100% recyclable, made from post-consumer recyclable stuff. If that changes, I will update you here, but it is cruelty-free and vegan, so it's covering a lot of it, just not all of it. Three out of five on the score for that. And then it's the million dollar question. Uh, well, I don't know where that voice came from. Does this product do what it said it was gonna do? Well, yeah, no. For me, it didn't. My skin and this booster were just, they were not friends, so. Okay, so here is a little after action on the Bybee. My skin, I was actually gonna do some gua sha, but before I put the oils on my face, I wanted to show you guys. It's so dry, so I've checked out you know, what am I eating? That hasn't changed. What detergent am I using? Also hasn't changed. Hair hasn't changed. Nothing has changed. So I'm like, why in the dry skin? And I'm drinking water. It's just, it's not better. The fine lines are still there. And that's the after. I tried it with other products. I tried it alone, which they say you can do. Either way I tried it, it just wasn't working. And I, I should have said this earlier, but you primarily use this at night before you go to bed. Yeah. No, not a two out of five on the scorecard for me. Kind of a bummer. I would have loved to have a $17 alternative to a very expensive skincare option. Now, there are reviews out there on the product pages that are like, this is amazing. I, I love this. I live in Minnesota. My skin's never looked better. I am an anomaly, okay? Just want to put it out there, but I'm not going to lie to you. This didn't work for me. Even though it's inexpensive, I would not repurchase this product. First claim, improves texture, reduces fine lines, and minimizes the look of being tired. So I'm never going to rely on a serum to help me look less tired. You'll never hear me go, wow, that may, unless I got like an eye lift, that's not a serum, that's a procedure. I will never rely on skincare to do that. My personal opinion is it's best approached holistically. Sleep, you know, de-stress, all the things that I should probably take my own advice on. Great. Improving texture, no, it did not improve texture. I actually think it kind of made it slightly worse. I know, I don't know why. I don't know why. The next one was plumper skin. It boosts collagen. I didn't see that. <laughs> that is it. So no, I will not be buying this again. What doesn't work for me might be great for you, but I'm not doing this one. I'm going right back to this herbivore. I saw results with like, it's at the bottom. I I lied. If I weren't me, I would go back to this Bacuccio from Herbivore, but I am testing the next round of skincare, which is going to be the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular line. I, in the past, I've had incredible results from that. So I'm going back to that, or I'm gonna try it again, do an update there. This, I got through most of this bottle, by the way, in 30 days, so not wasteful. I like these 30 day tests for that. If I had to choose a Bacuccio, I would absolutely hands down choose this one.
Again, I'll link to the video for this. That's all I have for today. I hope you found this review helpful. Sometimes we like to look at the high and low comparisons on things. I know I do, and a lot of you have mentioned that you do that as well. And this was one of those cases where for me, it was too good to be true. The price was too good to be true for my experience. So let me know if you've tried this. Have you tried the Bybee Bakuchio? I am gonna try some other things in their line because people rave about this company and this brand. But if you've tried something that worked, let us know. Sharing is caring. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure give it a thumbs up. Okay. Okay. It helps the channel. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a future product reviews. I'm going to go test out some more skincare. So I'll see you guys right back here real soon. Until then. Bye.